Make sure to hit a like and subscribe, and please consider becoming a supporter on Patreon or buying one of my cosplay books from akwidu.com. Enjoy the video! Hello everybody, it is Widu again for another episode of Just Widu Things. This episode's gonna be quite a bittersweet one because it is the part one of my relocation to Canada vlog. For those who haven't been seeing all of the news about my life in the past two years, here it is, uh, I've been working on my application to move to Canada as a permanent resident for the last two years and recently it finally got approved and I'm finally ready to physically get into Canada. Uh, and tomorrow our relocators are going to come to my place and help me pack up all of my personal stuff to ship over to Canada that obviously I can't take onto the plane. Pretty much as a cosplayer that would be all of my big costumes, all of the things that I want to keep, my tools and uh, a lot of my workshop pieces that are too expensive to go and buy a new replacement for in Canada. So today's episode will be where I show off my Tetris packing skills. All of my training from traveling so much from all the years has finally come to this day where I have to pick up all of my life belongings that I need to keep and put them into neat little boxes for the relocators to send all the way to Canada. So here is all of my life in the form of a few boxes. These boxes contain all of the stuff that will be going on a ship for a couple of months to go to me in Canada. And because I'm a cosplayer, um, most of these boxes contain all of my uh, completed costumes that I didn't want to chuck away or part with. And also some of the heavier tools and supplies that I have that are too expensive to replace. So let's go through each and show you what everything is. So this first box right here is the pinnacle of my Tetris skills. It has six different costumes in it, including Mai, Tsunade, Jiraiya, Mutsuno Kami, and I even forgot which ones. I'm gonna have to check later. The next box is full of spare heavy fabrics that uh, obviously would be too heavy to go onto a plane along with all of my personal stuff. So it's fabrics and leathers and some of my supplies in there as well. Most of my workshop is in there. This big one contains field team leaders great sword and my Azuri Star Lord long sword as well. Then I have two suitcases. The first one has some of my Monster Hunter costumes in it, protected by Nezuko-chan. So underneath, see, my Azuri Star Lord armor. And even underneath that is Field Team Leader, which is already buried. The second suitcase contains the fabric parts of Azuri Star Lord and Field Team Leader. So this is the more heavy, <laughs> heavy suitcase. And it's protected by sports anime. So there's this Kuroko and Taiga from Kuroko no Basuke. And all the corners are just protected by more fabric costumes. So this is a very compressed fabric costume suitcase. Next is my trusty brother sewing machine that will come with me as well. And it's protected by my thick thighs. Finally, I have three Evangelion AT Field toolboxes. Super heavy duty. I love putting my cosplay supplies in them, but this time on the ship they are protecting my books, which you can buy on akwudu.com. Shameless plug, but all of my books are coming with me in three heavy condensed boxes. So obviously they're too heavy to go with me on a personal luggage. So these are going to be on a ship for a couple of months before they come to me. Ta-da! So that is everything packed, ready to be shipped now. It's important to remember for me that from Australia to Canada, it is shipped by sea. So they calculate the cost by the space you take up and not the weight. So I had to focus on uh, packing everything really densely and prioritizing things that can be squished to go into these boxes and also uh, things that are small and heavy rather than um, you know big and spacious. The only thing that's really big and light that I'm shipping over is the Azuri Star Lord and 
the field team leader sword and the rest is pretty much condensable fabric costumes that I can stack and combine and squish really tightly and also my books that are you know heavy as rocks so that's pretty much it and that's a massive part of my move completed once these pieces have been picked up and shipped to Canada I've actually got you know lots of time to pack my plane luggage which will contain all of the stuff that I immediately need like my incomplete progress that I can do at home during my quarantine and also you know the necessities and that is it for part one of my Canada move vlog I hope you enjoyed my progress wish me luck I will update again soon bye oh, goodbye my babies <laughs>